Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to turn your life around for the better. So some of you, you know, you're praying, you're fasting, you're like, Tequila, I just don't see, I don't understand why my life isn't turning around for the better. Some of you are facing homelessness. Some of you are, you know, your finances are, you know, non-existent. You know, you're going through that financial hardship. Uh, you might even be suffering uh, with sickness in your body. You know, and you're like, what is going on? I'm fasting. I'm praying. I'm obedient to the Lord. What is going on, Tequila? Let's talk about it because I was in this situation a couple of years ago. And let me tell you, it wasn't until God revealed my spouse to me, that's when everything began to change and shift in my life. Before 2021, because that's when God revealed who my person is, before 2021, I was the one, I was the one in the, in the driver's seat over my life. Okay. So I was doing things like trying to learn how to budget. I was, you know, trying to save, you know, I was paying down debt, you know, um, I was the one who, you know, was just really trying to figure out my life. I wasn't reading the Bible. I wasn't fasting. Right. I, w I, I was doing none of these things that I'm talking to you all about. Um, but I was really trying to, um, lead and guide and direct my own life and i was getting very little progress okay and it was very frustrating because i was like man i'm doing all the right things i'm you know i had stopped getting credit cards i don't have credit cards i was like i'm not going in debt you know um you know because being a single mom and with debt that don't mix it don't go together and so i'm like i'm doing everything i i know to do why am i still living a hard life right it wasn't until God revealed my spouse to me. The next thing after God said, that's your person, I heard God say, you have to learn how to fight spiritually. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well, what does learning how to fight spiritually have to do with your life turning around for the better? It has everything to do with your life turning around for the better because a lot of you don't understand generational curses. You don't understand um covenants like uh when you are in covenant with the kingdom of darkness a lot of you don't understand altars evil altars right and so when god began to speak to me about um learning how to fight spiritually what he was really after because he pressed me into prayer every single day he would not allow me to take a break and i believe you know probably from the first eight months you know i stayed in prayer and around the eight month mark, I heard God say the curse has broken. Now, I didn't know that there was a curse on my life, right? And when we are not aware that there's a curse on our life, we're not when we're not aware of generational curses and how they affect our life, you know, we stay going around in this circle trying to figure out well, how do I improve my life? When really, when you deal with breaking that generational curse, you're going to see improvement hit your life right so one of the first things like i said god began to deal with me he began to press me into prayer he began to lead and guide me um in what to pray um how long to pray you know and i end up breaking the curse that was placed upon my life right now this was um this was curses that are, uh, I believe generational curse. I began to break the generational curse, some of the generational curse that was on my life. Right. And so I began to see, you know, some improvement um, hit my life. Um, so I was like, OK. Right. And then so one of the things that I was doing before uh, 2021, when God revealed my person to me, one of the things I was doing, I was keeping everyone in my life. Right. When I kept hearing the Lord tell me to let that person go, let that person go, stop talking to this person, stop going over that person's house. You know, I kept hearing the Lord tell me these things. I saw, you know, what God was showing me. However, I kept these individuals in my life anyway. And let me tell you something. When you keep people in your life who God is telling you to let go of, what you don't understand, what you're failing to realize is that some of these people who God is telling you to let go of, these are the very people who are behind the scenes attacking you. These are the very people who have your pictures or something that represent you on evil altars, which is why you cannot go forward, which is why you keep missing opportunity, which is why you cannot, you know, you're not getting these great job offers. This is why. Okay. Because of what you don't see and because of the people you keep telling your business to, 
And because these people, you know, don't want to see you, you know, become successful or they don't want your life to improve, they are now behind the scenes attacking your life. Okay. And so um, after I broke the curse, I began to just let go of the people who God was telling me to let go of. You know, he began, he started with my children's fathers. You know, he was like, he was like, he, it's a certain way God speaks to me. He was like, do not enter for one of them. He was like, go ahead and let them go. He was like, stop trying to, you know, get them to be a father. I said, okay. Right. You know, and I didn't even uh, fight it. I was just like, okay, if God is telling me these things, I'm going to be obedient to his instruction. And I'm just let him go because he said, I can't see. Right. And then he started dealing with me concerning family. Right. He was like, stop going around this person. Stop, you know, this and that. You got to love them from a distance. Right. And so I'm like, okay. And it got to the point to where God just isolated me. Okay. He just like, it was just me and God and my children, okay? And so, and I'm used to that. So that wasn't like, um, it wasn't a big deal, you know, with me because that was majority of my life, right? And so understand, yes, you may be praying um, and fasting, but I need you to press in and begin to identify what are the generational curses. We're going to break generational curses next week um during our god ordained marriage fast okay so if you have not already signed up make sure you head over to god ordained marriages.com forward slash fast and signed up is starting next week wednesday thursday and friday okay um but you want to make sure you're breaking these generational curses you want to begin to let go of the people god is telling you to let go of okay another thing i began to do was um live an obedient lifestyle okay so i was i just God stopped me um, from fornicating back in 2019. So, and I didn't even know that he was preparing me, right? He was ushering me into living this obedient lifestyle. So I just made up my mind. I said, you know what, God, you know what's best for my life. I don't know how to live my life. You know, I was like, every time I try to lead and guide my life, it go in the wrong direction. So I just decided to submit, you know, I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and live according to this Bible. And um, that's when I began to see acceleration hit my life because this Bible is the blueprint for how we are to live our life, right? If you want to see your life go to the next level, and let me say this, if you go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, and if you start reading at verse 15 up under curses for disobedience, if you see more curses showing up in your life, you know, such as you are, you know, being defeated by your enemies. If you see the sickness in your body, if you are suffering with inflammation or fever, if you are, let me see, uh, it say the sky over your head will be bronze, right? So if you can't get past a certain income bracket, it's telling you why. These are curses for your disobedience in the past, okay? So when you begin to understand scripture, then you get an understanding of why your life is heading in this direction. You begin to understand, okay, so in the past, I was I was activating principles that stored up curses because of my disobedience in the past. And now I'm just reaping that. So if I want to turn this around, if I want to reap blessing for obedience, I need to know what are God's laws and commandments? I need to know what principles in this Bible do I need to now activate that's going to bring in or invite into my life blessings, right? And so this moves us into talking about giving to the poor. And so um, it talks about in Psalm chapter 41, verses 1 through 3, it says, Bless are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. So when you take care of the poor, okay, God will deliver you in times of trouble. It goes on to say the Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desires of their foes. So instead of you being defeated before your enemy, when you give to the poor now, okay, you are, your enemies are the ones who are being defeated before you, okay? Now the tables are turning. It goes on to say the Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness okay so when you begin to activate this principle giving to the poor right the lord has to show up when sickness hit your body and that was another thing the lord did with me because uh i shared this story before where when i was uh, a prodigal 
you know, in 2017, you know, sickness hit my body. And, um, you know, I was diagnosed with Graves' disease. And then I had a heart condition called angina. And the Lord met me right there. Okay. Because that was one thing I always did in the past. I did. I always gave to the poor. I just have a giving um, heart. And so he always met me right there. He began to, you know, when the doctor was saying, you know, we're going to remove your thyroid. God was saying, no, you're going to go over there to this natural doctor. And you're going to, you know, take these supplements and do this and that, you know, you're going to eat right and exercise. You see what I'm saying? So God began to, you know, help me. He began to restore my health. Okay. Um, and that was my prayer. So understand, yes, prayer is good, but you want to make sure to change your life. You got to activate God's principles. Okay. In the Bible, you have to live an obedient life to the Lord. You have to become aware of what are the generational curses you know, that is now still speaking over my life that is causing me to stay in this cycle of rejection. What is that curse? I need to break that curse, right? We got to begin to understand altars, evil altars, because when you understand when, when family and friends and whoever, your enemies are behind the scene with your picture or your hair or whatever represent you on these evil altars, when they place these things on these evil altars, because they send in attacks to attack you uh, financially. They send in sickness your way. They send in stagnation, separation. They, they send in things to break up your marriage, okay, like et cetera, et cetera. And so you have to begin to understand. It's almost as if uh, when you're not aware of evil altars, the enemy has now tied all of your blessings down at this altar. So this is why you can't go forward. You see more stagnation. You see your life, you see yourself and your life going backwards. You see setback, backwardness and delay hit your life. You see poverty. You see infirmity begin to hit your life. And you're wondering why. It's because of that altar you're not dealing with. When you destroy that evil altar, then you want to accelerate to that next level. Then your health will spring up. Okay. And so, you know, that's what I wanted to tell you. Um Make sure you're activating God's principle. Make sure you leave, uh, you're living an obedient life to the Lord. Um, begin to identify what are these generational curses uh, that I need to break off my life, okay? What people do I need to let go of from my life, right? When you begin to align your life with um, in a direction where God is heading, you know, like leading you toward, then you're going to see your life begin to turn around for the better, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a positive comment. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.